Jeremy Gallon. 16 yard strike. That's the best executed pass they've had all day. Good protection. Gardner got back, set his feet. Gallon made a good slant move. Ball was put right on the money. Just like you draw it up, Al Moore, just touchdown. The extra point is good. Jeremy Gallon with the touchdown. Here it is, coach. Here it is. You can see it gets on the inside. Put the ball on the money. Gallon looked it in. Touchdown. Attack the wings here in this game. Play action from the pocket. Downfield strike wide open against the zone defense. Gallon breaks a tackle. Comes free. Hudson zone. Forget about it. That's what bad tackling will do to a defense. A 61-yard touchdown on first down. Gardner to his go-to man of a year ago when he quarterbacked five games to close out the season. Jeremy Gallon. Puts it down, and Brendan Gibbons knocks down the extra point. Up by 10, and folks, I think you've seen why the odds makers made Michigan a favorite in this football game. Notre Dame must answer. Indeed, third down and seven. Stays in to pass protect, does a great job. Gallon comes back on Jackson, and he's got it and out of bounds for a first down. This is, again, the relationship between the quarterback and the receiver. Third down, he knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. Puts the ball on the back shoulder and lets Gallon adjust to the football. Ball's in the air now. Gallon comes back to the football and makes the play. Gallon, I personally believe, pound for pound, one of the most talented wide receivers in the country. When he From the right. Caught in the end zone by Gallon for the touchdown. The GG combination is alive in Ann Arbor. Well, these guys have worked their tails off for this kind of night, this kind of opportunity. The back shoulder, it's all about timing and feel. Ball's in the air, thrown away from the defender. There's really nothing he could do on a perfectly thrown ball and perfect execution by Gardner and Jeremy Gallon. But Gallon is a good-looking receiver. So the touchdown comes after the interception. And the Wolverines go out by a pair. The first down. So 70 yards rushing. That's a career high, by the way, for Devin Gardner here tonight. Deep drop. Going to go deep downfield. Go for the home run, and it's grabbed at the 24-yard line. Jeremy Gallon again. A little bit of play action. Watch 41 Farley sink up in and then finally get back. And when he hustles to get back, he and Austin Collinsworth, a little bit out of position, but the ball is just perfectly thrown. Tight coverage, but the defender didn't have a chance to work through the body of Gallon because of the position of the football by Devin Gardner. Yeah, Russell was the was the corner right there, her ball league. I'm told him to stick right here. He would not hurt at all for one more year. Dropping it off. Gallon dives in zone. Got it. My, what a night for 21. 
Desmond Howard is in attendance and he's making Desmond proud. 177 yards and three touchdowns here tonight. Great call. Play action. Again, utilizing the speed of Devin Garner, getting him on the edge with the ability to run or throw, and he finds his man. There's something about the maize and blue 21 that when he goes up against Notre Dame, good things happen. And how about that block right there by Jeremy Jackson? That was beautiful. Junior it? Hemingway a couple years ago. Desmond, of course. Now tonight. There is Des on the sideline trying to act impartial as Gibbons tacks on the extra point. He'll be down in College Station for game day next week. Preparation for that Alabama-Texas A&M game. And uh, Herbie, you'll be joining me later. Come on up to West Lafayette. We're going to follow the Irish next week. Yes, sir. We A Eastern on ABC. Th this offense is really going to be fun to watch this year because this is week two with Devin Gardner. You can see the eight months of preparation and Al Borges and, the, and these, these players have put into this. Jeremy Gallon's a great receiver. And, and they've got players around Jeremy Gallon. But to me, it's Devin Cart Gardner's ability to understand the system, ability to run and be a true threat with his feet. But now you're seeing the growth of this offense because of his ability to throw the football. He's 17 to 25 tonight for 248 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. And you add that. Good route by Dillio. Gallon only has one catch on the day. Derek Green checks in the tailback. Instead, they'll throw. The pass behind Gallon, and he makes his second catch. Sensational effort. Had to twist his body all the way back to the left and picks up 30 yards. One of the things that they've been working on with Devin Gardner is accuracy, and I know this is a completion, but when you have a guy who has to stop and turn back who has is in stride, it really hurts the run-after catch ability. As much as Gallon, as tough as he is, as good as he is with the ball in his hands, you'd like to get that ball to him a little more accurately. Here's Gardner. Oh, man. Able to get past that rush, and he connects with Gallon. Jeremy Gallon out to midfield. That is a great job by Devin Gardner. Um, Daquan Jones was all over him. They tried to double him. They, he, he defeated the block in front of him, and then they tried to hit him with Toussaint. He shakes that and finds Gallon down. That's outstanding by Gardner. Oh, man, look at like a wrecking ball. of Devin Gardner here coming up on the final half minute of the third quarter. It can. Jeremy Gallon. Well done by Devin Gardner. And Michigan has taken the lead. What a fantastic series by Devin Gardner. And now, there's a couple things. One, nice protection. He's able to step and throw, and the ball is perfectly thrown. And watch Gallon. The difference in the route is at the top of the route. Trevor Williams has his eyes back inside looking at Gardner, and the ball's going past him. Gallon for six. And Michigan has roared back, trailing 21-10. to 10 at the half Devin Gardner capping a nine play drive 73 yards and connecting with Jeremy Gallon oh that familiar Devin Gardner responded in the last series here in the opening quarter Gardner under center no fire up top here's Jeremy Gallon sidestepping Gallon with a ton of room at the 50 to the 40 to the 30 can Greg Heben catch up to him he does finally wraps him up but a huge 71 yard pickup for the Michigan Wolverines on this rainy day and an Indiana Hoosier is down back at the 33 yard line well, you're going to see this is nothing more than the fire screen I talk about all the time. I love this play because it's low risk, but there's a chance for a big play. you got to credit the offensive line getting out there on the screen play, and if you give 
That guy, Gallon, that much room, he's going to get a big play. Sheets of rain falling here in Ann Arbor. Graham Glasgow was the offensive lineman that was running down the center. The sophomore out of Aurora, Illinois. Officially a 70-yard play. You know, it's, it's early in the game, but we talked about in the open, Matt, about don't let one team beat you twice because of the possible hangover from that unbelievable finish against Penn State. Is there any doubt that the Wolverines came ready to play today? No doubt whatsoever. And Gallon, as Greg Heben, the safety, able to finally catch up to him. That's what you call it. Get that third down to really a workable situation. Third and nine out of the shotgun. Funches along with Jackson and Chesson. Devin Gardner over the middle and the catch is made by Jeremy Gallon with Tim Bennett all over him. What a grab. What a grab. You know, when we were talking uh, to Devin Gardner, we brought up Jeremy Gallon. He said, he's my man. He sure is your man. He's making you look good today. Going behind that left shoulder makes the grab. Gallon four catches, 116 yards. Brady Hoke, when asked, uh, what do you think of Jeremy Gallon? He says, well, he sure is short, <laughs> but he's good. Tucson in the backfield. Gardner to Gallon. Touchdown. Touchdown to Michigan. Evan Gardner, all sorts of time. And Gallon comes back to it, takes it at the one, and leans into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, it, you know, it's just good execution. He had time. It was a good run, run by Gallon. He had Michael Hunter, the quarterback, turn inside out, put the ball right on the money, touchdown. Good execution. Eight receptions, 170 yards, and a touchdown. A sixth touchdown this season. Brendan Gibbons on for the extra point, and it's good. Now it's 28 to 14, 40 seconds left. And that's a bundle of time for Kevin Wilson in that Indiana <laughs> offense. Yeah, Greg Madison, the defensive coordinator, he's telling Brady Oak, 40 seconds. Couldn't you, couldn't you take it another play here? But yeah. watch it. He stands tall. Good protection. He puts the ball on the money. He's wide open. Looks it in. Gets it in the end zone. 40 seconds left. Touchdown. Doesn't get any better than that for Michigan. 91-yard drive, the longest this season for the Michigan Wolverines as they try to bounce back from that four overtime loss at State College a week ago. Two weeks ago, Indiana at home defeated Penn State and then last week traveled to Michigan State and lost. Them. Yeah, that drive was all set up by that dynamic kickoff return by Nennis <laughs> Northfleet. <laughs> like he's four yards, two touchdowns. Jake Butt in motion to tight end. Play action. Gardner going deep. Has Jeremy Gallon. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> 50 yards. That was a well executed play. I'm telling you, you got to credit the offensive line. You need a lot of time to protect. That was a double move by Gallon. He went with the curl. Pump fake by Gardner. He came out of the curl, went for the home run. Ball was on the money. Well executed play. Jeremy Gallon ties a career high with nine receptions. Sets a new career high. 220 yards. And Gibbons on for the extra point. Two touchdowns on the day for Jeremy Gallon. Everybody dialed in for that run game and then the big strike. Well, all it takes is time. Play action, touchdown. Well, that's what those guys do. Doug and Kurt, they talk every single week. Evan Gardner throws it downfield to Gallon, who got behind Bennett and nearly 
a touchdown. Another big time connection. 70 yards. Very, very similar to the play that we saw before. Again, you got to give credit to that offensive line. Play action. Give them all time in the world. Let a guy like Allen make a double move. We've seen Bennett out there when he's been sticking his nose there competing. I guarantee you, he jumped that out cut to get beat that big. Second 70. Six are going out the window here. Gardner. Pump fake. With time, fires to a wide open Jeremy Gallon. Wide open as Michael Hunter finally comes over to make the tackle. And a new record, passing record, set by Devin Gardner. Well, this is the result of Bennett getting beat two plays deep. They did the same thing. Play action pass, double move. They didn't do the double move, but that corner thought it was a double move, yep. and he thought, I'm not going to get beat deep. And all of a sudden, you leave a guy like Gallon with all that green grass, you got big problems. How about Gallon? 304 in a touchdown. Gardner steps back, fires. Has Gallon. Gallon. Jeremy Gallon continues his brilliant day, a 25-yard pickup, 368 yards well, receiving. Well, without a doubt, this series that they're running play action with two receivers out there with either a double move by Gallon or the inside receiver going deep and him stopping on the out, Indiana doesn't have an answer for that. Fast, but he's bigger and a little bit harder to get on the ground than Denard was. The Wolverines are work from their own 17-yard line. Play action. And going deep on the first play of the game. And it's caught across the 50. Gallon on a 35-yard pass play. I think Gallon lost his mouthpiece but didn't lose the football. He got hit hard at the end of the catch. Nice first down play. Isaiah Lewis, the safety, is going to come over and hit Gallon. Hmm. There goes the mouthpiece, but he held on to the football. And that's a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision. And somehow he held. He's now into the pattern for Michigan. Gardner for the end zone. Touchdown, Jeremy Gallon. Put six more on the board for Michigan. Both touchdowns for Michigan. The last two offensive touchdowns have come on short drives. One after the interception, this one after the short punt, and Michigan takes a two-touchdown lead. Gibbons on for the extra point, and a 21-7 advantage for Michigan. Just 41 seconds to play until halftime. Yeah, you know, on, on that touchdown, the, if you watch Iowa's defensive line, I mean, they had their butts up in the air, and they really came hard. But the offensive line, when you, when you watch it right here as they run this, but watch the offensive line. They do a great job of picking up the twist in there, and then Gardner can stand right in the middle, and he can find Gallon as the open receiver. And you know, if there's one guy that you're going to try to defend if you're Iowa's, number 21 is Gallon, because that's the guy he likes to go to. Michigan on the road with a two touchdown lead over the Iowa Hawkeyes and this Michigan offense has been opportunistic today taking advantage of those short fields you see the top targets today and this season Jeremy Gallon and Devin Funches Gallon with 39 percent of the total so some breathing room now for Michigan at the 14 yard line Gardner, the throwback screen to Gallon. And Gallon with some blockers in front, and Gallon is off to the races. He might take it right here. Gallon down the sideline, and he is down at the two yard line. Tremendous hustle play by Roby, but what a start for Devin Gardner and the passing game. I asked Al Borges, what's a good start look like for Gardner? He said a couple consecutive completions. Well, there's two in a row to Gallon. Beautifully executed on the wide receiver screen. Taylor Lewan, their key tackle, paves the way and a great start for Devin. Rear long catch for the freshman tight end, and he's got it at the 22 yard line with a Michigan first down. 
Gallon on the end around. Gallon getting the edge. Puts his head down. It's going to be first and goal Wolverines. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, if Ohio State is going to win their 24th game in a row and finish this regular season undefeated, they're going to have to play an outstanding game. They're going to have to bring their A game because Michigan has got some confidence here in the first quarter, and they are, are playing at a higher level than we've seen the last few weeks. We asked him. Inside the red zone again. Gardner play action. Goes to the corner of the end zone. Gallon touchdown. Boy, this was nice. Nice read. This is not your granddad's Michigan-Ohio State game. The way Devin Gardner is playing right now has got to make Brady Hope ecstatic because he is seeing everything right now from the quarterback position. Extra point is good. Ohio State came with a corner blitz. Devin Gardner saw it all the way, knew what he had with his favorite receiver, Gallant, and put it in a place where only his guy could make the play. Michigan back in front on Devin Gardner's 19th touchdown pass of the year. When a quarterback is comfortable, his vision expands. Roby's going to come on a blitz. That blitz is going to be picked up by Toussaint, and Gardner knows that means a safety. C.J. Barnett is going to be one-on-one -on, -one on his favorite receiver, Jeremy Gallon. You like those odds if you're a quarterback? Give your guy a chance. Beautifully thrown ball, but it started with the vision and the recognition by Devin Gardner. He hit his last six passes. Eight out of nine. Yep. Becomes paramount now in the fourth quarter. Play fake. Gardner loads and fires. Got his man, Gallon, on the run. And Gallon almost to midfield. Gardner steps into his throw, and he's got Gallon, but Gallon, got he's got it. He lost first something, down. but not the football. Not the football. <laughs> we saw that in the Michigan State game. The first pass of the game, he lost his mouthpiece and held on to the football. I don't know if this was a mouthpiece or what it was, but he sure didn't lose the football. And another tough throw on third and long by Gardner. Right on the money. And Gallon, who's made so many big catches all year long.